Okay, this is going to be the reading for Cancer for the February month. Valentine's. Happy Valentine's. So I've got love, sex, and romance on the list here. I put a few wisdom cards in the mix to help with that. <laughs> I'm just feeling the Mercury retrograde at me. <laughs> if you watch any of these videos, they're all fouled up in that way. Anyway, we got the uh, dragon cards coming out because I meditated beforehand here and they said we need some power to come forth in our relationships. We seem to feel empowered in, in work and our friends. We know what to do and how to gain our lessons. Um, don't mind my cat. She's chattering. And um, so we need it now in the relationships to give them power and energy to go forward in the right ways. So having a hard time gaining empowerment in the relationship sector is what we're feeling worldwide here or universally that's what they're getting okay <clears throat> I rock out here uh, <laughs> somewhere just finished the tour re Taurus reading and it was a doozy it's uh, weird stuff's happening electronically so this is all part of the flow card number one <laughs> hopefully we get through this without any glitches eight the strength card so in the romance area we may be trying to get someone off their strength here or feeling someone is trying to pull us off ours. Here it's displayed as a man trying to pull a woman off her strength here. Uh, and the sense they're giving me is we're just gaining strength and, and we're, you know, this person is trying to pull us off our pedestal already. We haven't even gotten on top of it. So, um interesting because I feel like this is the cancer and this is outside of forces here that um, <clears throat> may or may not understand the whole thing of pulling someone uh, you know pulling someone down here not in recognition of it uh, the next card three of wands this can speak to uh, higher levels within a relationship this specific card is about engagement. Uh, these people, it's like a family here that is uh, witnessing this man get down on one knee and uh, want to take her hand. And she's like, oh, me? Poor little me. <laughs> so that's in the mix. There may be a stage here in a relationship that we're wanting to, uh, someone here attached to the cancer or the cancer themselves, wanting to upgrade in a relationship, okay? <clears throat> next card four of pentacles and that's about um someone overlooking things here <sighs> give me a moment yeah i feel like we may have a cancer here who is in a state where we are in a relationship that's going to take a, a, a big step forward and we may have someone either from our past or someone uh, in the periphery here that they're noting, you know, there's someone watching us go through this situation here is really what's going on. Uh, I don't get a feeling good or bad about this. It's just kind of an onlooker. So we'll continue here, get into the wisdom cards. First wisdom card to clarify the strength card. What do you know? <laughs> is the strength and i feel like the cancer is trying to gain their own strength but they're just very willing to let other people pull them off it is the sense and we're we're trying to not do that this time is the sense i'm getting we're trying to gain our own strength and in the meantime other people are are um kind of not allowing us to do that is the sense okay now on top of the three Wands, which uh, speaks to um, my cat is acting goofy. Holy, these readings. I got to get them out. <laughs> the three of wands speaks to an energy of a big step in a relationship. So if we're dating, then we move in. If we move in, then we, you know, may get engaged. If we are engaged, then we're going to get married. This kind of thing. Now... <clears throat> interesting on top of the three we get an, a three three so there's three three this happened before in another reading my goodness i think it was gemini i'm not sure but anyway <clears throat> the 
the threes here. Really highly guided is what I'm getting, intuitive. Loyalty comes down here. Hmm. Give me a minute. I, I feel like there's a questionable loyalty here. I feel like uh, we may have someone asking us to be to take a big step in a relationship and we may not know if we want to be loyal to this person. We don't know if we want to spend the rest of our life there. We don't know if we want to make this long term. We don't know. So this is what I'm getting here. And I do feel that it's guided. We're guided to kind of look at things and go, wait a minute. Ooh, I don't know if I can, you know, even though it's flattering and whatnot, the sense here is, I don't know if I want to be loyal to this person. It's really what I'm getting. Okay, the next card. Again, there's somebody in the periphery here looking on. What do we get there? Fulfillment. Now, I feel like the fulfillment goes back to the loyalties. I feel like we may have a partnership here coming at us that we may um, perceive ourselves not being fulfilled with. So this person that's come toward us has to move in to, to join forces, whatever they're doing there, uh, engage even. We're not too sure if that's going to fulfill us being in this relationship with them. So there's a question uh, do I want to be? I don't think anybody's disloyal at this point. I just think we're questioning whether we want to be loyal in this partnership to this partner. Like, I don't know if this is a long-term thing is the sense I'm getting. So we'll get into the <clears throat> Mucha cards here. Okay, on top of the strength again. I feel like the Cancer's trying to gain their momentum and strength forward, but it's like people are clawing them down, trying to bring them down all the time, and it's just they're not able to gain their own strength back. Oh my goodness. Nico. Um, I feel like she's strung up somewhere. Anyway. Uh, to overcome, uh, to, to go over the strength card, we have 12. The hangman. And that's about um, a pause or a need to look at things differently. What did we start out with? This strength card. Uh, yeah, we're trying to gain our strength here. And we may not be seeing clearly who is trying to take it away from us is what they're giving me. I said correct. We, we're trying to gain our own personal strength. We got people around us that are pulling us down. We're not quite aware of this is a sense. They're pulling us down, but we're not, we're not giving it credit. So the sense here is we need to look at, at those people differently. We need to understand more from a, a, a greater depth what's going on here is the sense I'm getting. Okay, on top of the loyalties, again, I felt like somebody was wanting to one-up in a relationship here, move in, get engaged, uh, do the deed, whatever. Um, but the person who's being asked is kind of going, I don't know if I want this. Blech. I don't know if I want long term. They maybe have uh, fear of commitment. Are they? May there you are. You're okay. Yeah, you're crying like you're strung up or something. <laughs> Goofy cat. Uh, so we just don't know if we want to move forward with this in that manner. Uh, we may have been with this person, uh, but we're not sure we want to continue to go in this way. Is the sense like? I'm thinking if someone's being asked to uh, marry, I think the thing is here, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. Like we're wishy-washy about it. We don't, uh, we don't have enough. It, this relationship really doesn't fulfill us to the highest degree here. And that may be the sense too, is if it's not fulfilling, we really need to do what um, fulfills us. And if this ain't it, we got to go towards what is it, right? So the clarification there on the loyalty is the six, the victory card. And this is about excitement, can be about ego as well. Um, give me a moment. Because this is backing the, the, yeah, the engagement. Sense they're giving me is, it, it, it's very flattering. You know, it does stroke our ego to be, 
asked in this way or, you know, um, things coming out in this way. But again, where do our loyalties lie? Because just because what they said to me when uh, when I pulled this card, they said, look at her eyes, how blank they are. They're just kind of stunned. Like, uh, uh, they said that's the emotion that's running through. <laughs> it's like, um, I, I don't know if I want to. It's kind of a stunned energy. Like, ooh. Okay. Now on top of that, we get success. So maybe our ego, they gave me the word ego. Don't usually bring that out in this card, but be careful. We're coming from ego. Because, uh, you know, that doesn't last long. And that's the thing. I think there's a part of us that knows this isn't for us. But we may actually go in this direction. Or just uh, the celebration of the situation. Somebody's excited here about this and somebody's not. Or someone's questionable. On top of the 20, fulfillment. So again, something is not nourishing us on a certain level here. And, and again, keeping in mind, there's someone in the background that's uh, pertinent to this whole scenario. We get the lovers on the fulfillment. So this may be the, the exact direction. Maybe um, in a physical manner, this person is not, you know, what we we find fulfilling in, in the love zone. Okay, we're going to continue. Infinity cards. On top of the hangman, again... I feel like there's a time here, and it may be that um, we get the news, and and we may just say, okay, well, uh, I don't know, I gotta think about things or whatever, and it could also, uh, I mean, that's really when you're gonna flip and think about things differently because we have an energy introduced here by the engagement or the move in with me or whatever the proposition is. It's like it changed the frequency of this relationship, and suddenly, it's like, whoa, I like things the way they were. What are we doing here? So this is, um, on top of that, we get the shuffling card. <laughs> okay, so again, this is pulling her off her strength, uh, you know, being pulled off our strength. Cancer. Shuffling. Now, this uh, card, when I made it, it's like this is a balancing of, of energies between two relationships. We're trying to keep two relationships in the air. Now, I'm not picking up on a second person other than this person here overlooking things so maybe they're not just an overlooker maybe they're an actual lover that fulfills us more than the one that we're with okay just just saying okay now six of wands is about a successful feeling an ego you know winning we're we're good we're in the green like something like this this kind of energy so if we have someone asking to Mary, the, somebody's feeling excited about this. Now, to clarify, we get old school tradition. So, um, maybe the person that's asking is saying, well, you know, it's the next step, so I guess we got to do it. <laughs> I don't know, like this kind of thing. Like, it's traditional, we got to get married. So, um, and then somebody else is feeling like, do we really have to? Do we have to do this? So I feel like somebody, yeah, there are two ways here, definitely. Somebody's more traditional, wants to solidify things and in the relationship and whatnot. I'm not too sure. I don't think the person that's asking them to marry is the one that's shuffling. I think the one that's shuffling is the one that they're asking to marry. And I think the one that's traditional is the one that's asking them. They're the person, they're kind of like, well, this is the next step and this is the way I'm going to do it and da, da, da. And I think the other partner may want to actually be freed from the relationship, but may not. I don't know. Let's see here. Let's go on the lovers. Uh-oh. <laughs> my, my tower card. What the F? Shock and awe. Okay, give me a moment here something's up here with this third party okay they're not just there for show like they're not there's something going on either we have fulfillment with this person in the past there was some fulfillment with someone in our past that um a past lover but there's some shocking developments that have come down the pipe through either about that person 
or that person's going to be shocked about the developments between me, you know, I'm saying me, between, you know, this new position that we're in here. The, the cancer and this new person who's saying I'm going to marry whatever. So we might have an onlooker, an, an ex-love, a past love, that might find it a shock that we are actually getting hitched, if that's the way we go here. Okay, we're going to get into the love and sex, or the sex side here. See what happens. So the first sex card, we have the Seven of Swords. Wow. This is about not being upset with a partner to the degree we're not having sex. There's some truths that need to be told in this relationship. And until they're told, I, I don't want to be intimate with you. I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to do nothing. So there's, there's a breakdown of the physical side of one relationship here. And it's interesting to me, they're talking about lovers. And so it's almost like we're in a relationship where there's no sex. And then we may be going outward to get sex from someone else. Maybe. Again, it won't it does not necessarily mean it's going to apply to everybody everybody's situations those that need guidance the most next card is the queen of cups that is your element that is um that's what we're offering love affectionate caring you know kindness to another somebody's getting it somebody's not <laughs> it's really the this, this scene and unfortunately there's a third party here that hasn't got a clue what's going on okay it's 30 third party here being strong up in all of this um yeah next yeah look at and i turn these cards upside down and yeah and here we go three swords third party now there's the onlooker right there they are there and here they are there so there's somebody in the background, either someone that wanted a chance with you, had a chance with you, something to this effect that they're in the background. There's a lot of these scragglers over this Valentine's reading. A lot of people peeping in on other people's business, really, in the love zone is what I'm getting. But, well, again, so we have here, it's, a, you know, a guy in here, a girl in here. Uh, give me a moment. Usually with this three of swords, there's two people that are kind of on the naked zone and the other one's fully clothed. So there is, uh, I take it to mean there is a, a reason here. There's somebody is being left out on purpose because there's a uniting of, of physical bodies here that's groovy. And that's what we're gravitating to. And that may be the person that's not our regular we may be physically involved with someone on the side of a relationship that's trying to one up here. Yeah. So, again, we have the Queen of Cups. That is your element. That's you. You are loving, affectionate, caring, intuitive, and all of this. And we're giving in a certain direction and absolutely not in another. So, as we continue forward to clarify, on the Seven of Swords, this is about the part where we're not getting any on this side we have the magician and that is about creating our own destiny mm. that's interesting okay because she's conjuring up energy it's like i want things to go this way now are we ignoring the partner because we want to get rid of the partner but we're not using because the magician usually has the willpower to stand up for what they want uh, and it's the beginning process of doing that, an introduction to that. So maybe this is what you're going to gain over this month is the power to really speak to this relationship in that way. It's interesting to me because I feel like there's an engagement here and a shying away from it, but I don't feel an honest conversation is going to happen. I feel like one, we could either accept the invitation and continue with the lover or uh, we reject the, the, the invitation and continue with the lover. <laughs> it's, this guy's not going away. He's there for a reason. And it is maybe because we want to go in this way more than what we're doing here, but we just haven't made, put into action yet that. We're trying to manifest it, but we just haven't put into action. Now on the queen, uh, to clarify, wow. We have the five of cups talking about a loss. <clears throat> the, 
behind her is you know man with two cups that is the two of cups is about love and compassion you know and caring between two individuals and then three is about happiness celebrate so there's somewhere here we've lost um our happiness but yet there is uh, love here no less like the thing i'm getting it just glaringly to me is the fact that we're with someone we just don't want to be with we're not attracted we're not we're not we're not and we're we may be stepping out or there is someone who we are more attracted to and it, that is somewhere else and right now we're really focusing on the negative which i feel is going to be increased because this person's going to come forth like i feel like the cancer is kind of unknown that this is going to happen like an engagement or asked to marry this kind of thing like a surprise and um even before this happens they're kind of really in the sad zone they're not a three cup sad they're like you know they're a little but it's not making them happy they're not happy so next card three of swords it's frustrating because to me it's like don't go shouldn't be in a place where you're not happy is really what it is like we just move away from that and things will start to get brighter um, we get the initiate of swords, Mat it, it's about mature reasoning, yeah, maturity within our making up our mind. And I feel like our mind is over here or over here. So it's not a matter of making up a mind, but yet there's something here we're gaining. We, we have a mature center about us. We know how to reason. We know how to deal with this. But there's an inaction happening. Now I see why the dragon's needed. <laughs> it's not happening. We're even trying to manifest things and get moving. Um, but maybe it's a negative mindset that's holding us back. It's like we're blocked. We're blocked somehow. But I feel it's a self-imposed block. We're not being blocked by anything but what our belief system is about this. Like I can't leave because of this. Or I don't want to go because of this. But I'm not happy here. And I've, I've got a better lover on the other side of the fence. But, but, but. There's every excuse. Um, but none valid. It's, that's what they said. But none valid. It's all just so we don't have to put in any effort to do anything anywhere. So this is, yeah, this is what I'm getting. Again, it may not apply to all. Top of the seven of swords to clarify. The magician is that energy that conjuring manifesting a new way a new way we want to go Ooh, okay this is interesting it comes on on this character which we're not getting any period we're talking about creating our destiny and what we may be creating is empty pleasures because we may be with someone that would just on a lot of levels we're not happy so we're not emotionally invested in this relationship and physically we're we're getting empty pleasures so it is not fulfilling us in that way either and it just logically i think we're tuned out anyway so it's just kind of like we're on autopilot again the energy of the um the hangman was here where'd he go he's here on the physical side like we're just and there's a need to look at things differently. Why? Because we shouldn't be staying in... I'm not going to lecture. <laughs> I'm frustrated. I feel like we shouldn't be staying in a relationship where we don't feel anything. So the Queen of Cups. This is all about the love, the compassion, the caring, all of that. We have that. And we have it to offer to someone else. But we're focused on something here that is not positive. Or that is, yeah, not positive. It is negative. <sighs> We have the Ace of Cups to go on top of that. And we talk about success and gain and acquisition. Now, this brings a new twist. Do you notice how... <laughs> we got two cups here that are full. Here we go back down to one cup. Give me a moment. And they're going, yeah, that's our self-worth. 
And until we realize this, we really won't be free from what it is that we feel is wrong here. Next, I'm just going to jump over. <laughs> Three of Swords, that's about a possible third party. Possible, a third party here that's invested in some kind of way or, or another. Could be an ex that we had intimate relations with, with that we may be on our mind, we may be pining about. Or uh, someone in the past that had intimacy with us that wants back in in some kind of way and uh it was more fulfilling there is the sense on top of that we get nine of pentacles and this <laughs> this is uh casanova okay first of all this talks to betrayal liberation and a way out so what we're talking about here is energy where there's a woman here that is in a dead-end relationship, right? If this doesn't explain it, I don't know what will. She's in a dead-end relationship with this guy. He's starting to turn blue already. It's just not, there's nothing here for her. Casanova comes in to swoop her out of there and save her because she's going to end up, you know, um, dying as well. I mean, I don't mean that literally, but the relationship is going to die. She's just losing all her passion. Everything's dead. It's nothing's there to be revived. There's nothing. All we were getting was uh, pleasures, but it wasn't even full of anything. We were empty. So something about this, like either are we dreaming? Because we have, give me a minute here. We have mature, yeah, reasoning. Which makes me believe though it's up in the head we may have be be dreaming about another partner here that could save us from this relationship and they're going no we save ourselves and then we go to that partner and see if they want but give me a minute the energy here is that there might be someone coming along it may not be that exact partner that we're dreaming of or whatever but someone may come along here give us that opportunity to do that be careful about your karma like don't jump out of the relationship until you know that you've given because i have a feeling here we might have someone that wants to engage to us and we want to leave so that's going to be a little awkward we got to kind of give them a heads up if we don't have a heads up it's a lot of communication needs to happen to get that across this is what i'm getting so okay we're getting to the infinity cards here or er, sorry i'm saying infinity but they're they got the infinity symbol on the back it's my what card is it millennium deck prince of swords rushing in <laughs> fighting your beliefs yeah so there will be someone coming rushing in here to replace this one right uh but again fight for your beliefs we have to fight for uh, you know we have to put in some effort to get out of the relationship is what they're saying to me it's like we don't fight anybody we just got to stand up for our right to to remove ourselves out of the relationship and communicate that to the partner then things will be okay i feel like somebody's rushing in it may be an air sign gemini uh aquarius or libra may not be but somebody who likes to communicate who can be quite harsh and brash but they are on the level they speak the truth and you know they're not the mushy gushy soft type but they'll tell you straight like it is and you'll get you know you'll get the um they got your back that kind of thing this is the energy that's coming in no next card on the ace again it, it all comes down to what we have within ourselves we can't wait for someone to save us it's not happening um <laughs> they're going though we'll get exposure it is up to us to do get out of the relationship right we'll get it make it exposure to things that are enticing but we are the ones that have to work to get out of the relationship um the next card is the five of pentacles talks about strain yeah we may have some problems here dealing with our heart center um dealing with making ourselves feel um like everything you know what's the word yeah I'm losing them again self-worth we're we're gonna have a problem here with the self-worth we do not feel we should we are enough to be alone we got to be able to uh enjoy ourselves on our own and then when we get in that mode uh, things will be a lot smoother and they're going we understand the probability of the cancer going out and doing it on their own 
some of you might be single as well but to remove yourself from a relationship it's just not going to happen they're going then guess what doesn't happen as well this this energy gets held off and they're showing me the hangman again yeah they're going this energy gets pulled so we got to learn how to deal with ourselves on our own and then there's energy for us to come in this is the what we got to overcome okay so again we get this scenario of being saved yet what do we have to clarify the hermit yeah the hermit is about going inside and finding what it is that's so light about you meaning so great about you so that you can go outward and shine it and the outward shining is you know what you and me i think we need to you know and then you go find another partner <laughs> But there is someone in our past or someone in our periphery here that we've either that we've been intimate with that is on our mind absolutely and we may even want them to save us but the sense is is we got to go inside and, and understand what we truly want and then go forward and get it and and do that on our own then this will uh then it goes um this energy goes right back to here but if we don't go inside and deal with our issues um, and try and get this part and this strain is going to come from it. <sighs> okay, so I, um, so that's the reading. <laughs> it's kind of frustrating energy, but it just seems like we're in a, a dead end relationship and we need to get out of it. And um, there may be someone in the periphery here that's either a, a past possibility or a future possibility here for intimacy um, that's on our mind no less so i um, pulled an anime card from my boy's deck and it's got stuff about angels and whatnot so i thought i'd read from there see if it gives any guidance we have metatron here well talking about past life recall <laughs> uh that's the guy that he works highly through me metatron does so i just uh, i smile when i see it now past life recall this is going through the ranks of, of a lot of signs here i think capricorn had it um not so long ago in the reading here that i did and it is life changing this guy he <laughs> he gets through the on levels that are going to be uh well you won't be able to overlook it that's for sure okay metatron here we go. I'm going to read from the book here. Past life recall. Yeah. Uh, it says here, uh, Metatron was said to have a physical incarnation as the scribe Enoch. He raised his consciousness on earth to such a high vibration that when he passed, he did not follow the normal path of transition, but instead was raised to the exalted realm of being close to God, Due to his life skills as a scribe, he was entrusted with guardianship of the Akashic Records, and that's like your whole life history and all your lives combined. So in the library, there exists a record of every being's life for all time, and there are not school books to be marked or placed where activities are judged these are gentle reflections from the angelic observers of the chapters in your life or all of your lives they are lovingly transcribed and kept for eternity for when you need insight um yeah sorry i got itch the card has appeared so that you can access the case <clears throat> access the cause of the effect that you're experiencing in this life lifetime <laughs> Through past life recall, this will enable you to get to the root of the present and unexplained patterns and then release them. When we have past life recall, we are accessing the great library overseen by the magnificent librarian Metatron. We are in safe hands. Metatron only gives us access to books about past lives when we are ready to read the stories and when we are on the brink of transformation. The planet that uh, corresponds is Earth. Metatron does not have a specific planetary alignment, but is often associated with Earth due to his sending light from the divinity to the earthly realm. So, <clears throat> yeah, past life. I'll go over my <laughs> random. I have to do a special on this one. 
the whole thing here is when you're like they were saying in the end there when you're getting flashes of old memories of you but not you memories that are so deep and you feel them so strongly or dreams that are so vivid that you swear you could have lived them <laughs> guess what you did and uh, that's the thing is they want you to remember that why because it's pertinent to now it's it may be empowering to your now it, it may give you strength to know that you went through this um for some people um yeah they're going it is never to knock you down so if we are taking it and and it is pulling us down this is not the intention the intention is to gain us power and again uh i was using some stories when i was talking about capricorn but uh here it's like it would explain our life cycles and why we are in stuck in cycles like we are and we have the hangman there i get a i get a, a strong feeling of being hung up and these dreams are supposed to un unhang you <laughs> they're supposed to you know lift you from all of this um answer some questions da 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 so you may have to open your mind a little bit more, be a little more open to what's coming in and say to yourself, if this was a past life, how would this affect me today? Or how should it affect someone today? Does it affect me that way? And knowing it, does it change that? You know, like someone, uh, you know, like I've heard so many people, they go, yeah, I don't like water. I don't like swimming, whatever. So maybe in a past life they drown and they just don't want to touch water. But maybe if they deal with that issue, feel, uh, you know, the sensation, like some people get hypnotized and they re remember the, the dream and then it can be let go. It's not a trauma anymore because it's healed and we move forward and then we can suddenly we can go in the water and it's okay. I don't feel panicky. I don't feel nothing. And you get a lot of these kids with past life stuff and they're dreaming about war and they have nightmares and they wake up screaming and they're... Uh, and it's because they don't understand what it was. And then the moment that we get acknowledgement in real life, like one, I remember seeing one on the internet there um, of a kid that was an army pilot and he died and da da da. And there was actually sibling, not siblings, but the guy's wife in a past life, her sister was still living or something like that or a daughter or something there's a, a couple down the, the rung but he actually the kid reincarnated the kid come and he met this woman he said you know you just remember and then after he was 13 14 it kind of was all gone but when they're younger they, they remember all that they're they're so open to that it's like that we need to take those memories and and implant them today and say how could this help me how could it hindering me and how can I use it as I go forward to empower myself? Because sometimes just knowing, you know, yeah, I did. Then it releases all that fear and then you can go swimming and then you become good. How does it affect me? Well, it affected me because it made me fearful of something that I should not logically have fear in this life. Why? Because it was in that life. You know, all of this stuff, putting it all together. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is what's going on with a lot of people now because they're trying to infuse all of, you know, not all of, but a great many of the Akashic records that are pertinent to you now, they're trying to overlay that on your soul. So it empowers us to go forward more. Because if we have no clue, we just keep spinning in circles and we have a fear of water and we don't know why and uh, and we just get more fearful. But if we knew it was a past life, then we can get over it, we heal, and then it's released. This is the thing. This is what they're wanting you to do is release a lot of trauma, a lot of karma. This is all stuff that's happening this year in the process of we really should have gotten rid of a lot of this already is the sense they're giving me. But if we haven't, it's going to be coming in this form. Uh, clairvoyant uh, visions, um, imaginary, you know, uh, how do you say dream time, imaginary visions. Um, and also just images that come when, when you know, or sometimes you get attached to something you see, uh, you know, and they love to line you up with movies and stuff that speak to your soul. And you, you cry so much and you're like, why? Well, because it resonated from a part of your life that you needed to heal there. And so it'll take you back to that. So this past life call, uh, past life recall stuff is really important. 
and it is there to help you and it is only there when it is valuable and it is only there to increase your vibrance you know vibrancy forward so the dragon card i think i over i over said that but whatever the dragon card we have is the earth and and air dragon it represents a perfect balance of heaven and earth stay balanced ground your visions manifest your hopes and dreams so stay grounded and that kind of alludes to that you know we may be up in our head about a lover instead of it actually being real we may have or may be dreaming of that perfect lover right that other lover we may be dreaming of a lover that we had in the past but not it's not here on earth and therefore they're going no we have to deal with our reality our reality is we're with someone we don't want to be with so how do we get someone we do want to be with we have to get out of the one that we don't want to be with this kind of thing so that's what they're really saying here earth dragon ground yourself out and um yeah balance things more between heaven and earth and i feel like the heaven is really the dreaming of what we want and the earth is the reality of what we have and we got to deal with our reality more and then we can really because the dreams of this partner will not come in while you have a partner with with you it won't that frequencies this change they won't do that they won't allow that so or well they may allow it but you will incur negative karma to get out so it's it's hard to explain you can make any decision that you want <laughs> but you got to make the right one but here they're telling you ground out stay grounded in your reality because this is what we got to deal with and this once we figure our reality out we'll be on the way to making things better and your past life recall will give you the root ball of why we're stuck where we don't want to be stuck because there's past life memories coming up shooting at us this is going to help us see things clearly so cancer Ooh. That is your reading for Valentine's. Happy Valentine's Day. Hopefully it's not. I don't know. I get the sense uh, there's some people out there going to have uh, proposals. So congratulations. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Anyhow, well, some might be good. You know, like not everybody is on the spectrum of, of, um, of what I'm picking up there. So either way wish you luck so take care happy valentine's day have fun and be kind